Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yes, hello. There have been some whispers in the comments lately saying, hey man, really enjoy your wing videos. I know I've done a million of them, but we want another one. Bring them back, bring back a classic wing video. And uh, anytime, any place, anywhere, any day, I crave wings. So uh, uh, that's what we're gonna do today. However, there's a slight twist. We're gonna take my favorite food and my favorite beverage and make them have culinary sexual activity together and birth an amalgam of both. So that means they are gonna come together and make one delicious thing in my mouth, okay? So let's get to it. So first things first, we're gonna get these boys into a bowl and then into a bath. While I'm getting these ready for the bath, I'll tell you this video is also gonna knock out another request from a long time ago. If you'll notice, they're all flats, and I couldn't be more excited because flats are my favorite part of the wing. All right, crank on the cold. All right, water is nice and clean, nice and clear, under control. Good and fresh, ready to roll. Uh oh, a couple down there. Luckily, I just scrubbed this out. Next up, I got buttermilk here. These are going in there, and they're going to, that's going to be the adhesive for the dredge. Now we make the dredge, the coating. Very, very simple. I'm going to let the flavors of the sauces do the work. This is strictly just for a coated exterior, nice and crunch. And in order to achieve that, we go a bunch of flour and a bunch of cornstarch, equal parts basically. A little half and half mix. Done and done, that's all she wrote, that easy. Okay, so now that that's situated, we're gonna get the Dr. Pepper, a couple cups in a pot, a little medium low heat. Put a little bit of honey in there already, I wasn't, the, the camera wasn't on. And then cornstarch, this is a slurry, so just cornstarch and water. Just want to get it together so as not to be lumpy, but the cornstarch will bring the sauce into its true thickness. Add that in. And that's a crazy reaction I wasn't expecting. Things you learn while cooking. Cornstarch is reacting crazy with the Dr. Pepper Fizz. On the other burner, we're going in with the lemon pepper, which is going to be a big hunk of butter. And this super real lemon, as you see. And this dollar store lemon pepper seasoning. A little lemon pepper seasoning from the dollar store, buck or two. Pop that in there. And take a look in a book. Reading Rainbow. Anybody remember Reading Rainbow? I sure do. Yeah. Lemon butter, lemon pepper. She good. Just that easy. Simple. Alright, that's coming along. Reducing down nice. Liquid hot magma. Alright, so we're going to let that simmer and thicken for a while. And while that's happening... We got to get these wangs on the go, get this oil ready, fire this up high. Oil in. The old wooden something in the middle test.
they're both kind of soupy, leaking everywhere. Still good though, still good. Some regular naked ones too. And of course, ranch and some BBQ. <laughs> Buttery, sloppy sauce. Nakeds, Dr. P, Lemon P, Saucy. All right, yo, what up? Back with uh, some wings today. The lemon pepper, the Dr. Pepper, soggy. They didn't really come together. It's a fail already, to be honest with you. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. I brought the uh, Sweet Baby Rays as a contingency plan. Have some naked here. To be honest, they remind me very, like, kind of Popeyes-y. Celery, of course, ranch. And the star of the show, if we're going to have Dr. Pepper wings, we might as well have a full Suge night, you know what I mean, when it comes to the drink. So... Before we do anything more, we must pour. I am sweating my britches right now from just that cooking and running up and down and all around, trying to fucking get this situated and get this angle right and everything like that. But uh, we're here and we're ready and we're finally gonna crush. I can't wait. These are gonna be so fall off the bone, just wing king tender. And yes, I'm making this video because in a bunch of my videos lately, I've just had a lot of requests being like, yo, can you do like a, just like a, just, just a wings video again, or just kind of crush it like you used to with the wings. So that's what we're doing on this one. Uh, a little different style though. I didn't used to dredge and all that. I used to basically just stop zooming on my face. I used to basically just, um, oil them with salt and cook them in the oven but uh i figured i'd do it different today okay i think we have to go with the dr pepper first being that that's the theme of the video i just want like the least soggy one because like i said that sauce didn't really thicken up but these definitely have a great crust and uh, we're about to find out exactly how decent this is. Hmm. Wing King, baby. Very mild, very subdued in, in terms of the Dr. Pepperiness of it, but basically sweet is really the most that I'm getting is just a sweet profile with like a hint of the Dr. Pepper, but if it had thickened up and came together better, it would of course be better. This is where I'm looking to go. I've been thinking about these the whole time I was cooking them, the lemon peppers, butter, lemon, lemon pepper, and I put a little bit of Parmesan Mm. Watch this. See how clean that is? We gotta go ranch. The lemon peppers are crushing it. Clean. Nothing but net. Mm. Yeah, the lemon peppers with the ranch. Doing the most right now. Okay. Naked and afraid. But we got to go. Sweet baby Ray on that. All right. Mm. I want to just do one clean, like. Like a double down. There we go. One bone out, the rest is history. Mm -hmm. The full sugar doctor doing its work. 
on the plating I forgot my celery but I got it just in time for the vid I'm starving it's like four in the afternoon I kept my meal real light yesterday I barely ate had a long day So I'm ready for this. Y'all ready for this? I was fully debating before making this video. I was like, should I either make this video or because it's Sunday, I was going to go go live and cook a brunch live with you guys have a couple vodka OJs and cook live and jam out and have Sunday breakfast with you but Are the best to me. I'm telling you, you gotta make them just like this. Fall off the bone. Just slide right off. So good. That's definitely the difference. When I do the oil naked ones in the oven, they're more like, you really got to get at them. Got to gnaw. These ones, the inside stays crazy moist. Mm. Yeah, the Dr. Pepper ones, kind of soggy, of course. My bad. All right, yo, I'm back. If this looks and seems different, the angle and everything, it is. My camera battery just died. It's one of those videos happening to me. Just a lot of weird shit going on with this video while I was cooking and stuff. You guys, of course, don't know about it because I cut it out. With the power of editing. But I'm now on my iPhone, which is also like, down to its last two gigs of memory. <laughs> Cause I got way too much shit on it. I have to clear it out. It's so annoying. Do you guys ever like hate having to Go and like dump files and save them and shit from your phone. First world, pro first world problems, but it is very annoying. Mine especially because the reason why my phone is so full is whenever inspiration hits musically, I take like voice notes and I have like hundreds of voice notes of melodies and shit that are like very important to me. Do not want to lose them. For 
cooking future songs, but there's just so many of them that I hate, like having to transfer them somewhere and putting them in like a safe place on my computer. It's not the greatest. Not the greatest at all. What is the greatest? Are these fall apart flat? The lemon pea in specific. so good the full sugar you know the diet's good but anything with the full sugar is just that much more intoxicating okay one more and then I'd be done. Oh, look at that. That thing's just dripping butter. satisfied right there um i'm mainly wrapping this up though because i don't know if my phone's gonna how long it's gonna go for so i don't want to risk it and not be able to have a proper ending to this video but i uh, highly encourage you to try ones like this at home if you want fall apart off the bone crunchy crispy tender Wang. Do it. Definitely do it. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that one. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, charge your batteries for your camera, stupid, and stay true.